Welcome to the Jack of All Trades training channel. In this series of videos, I'll be reviewing practice questions to prepare you for your certification exam, one topic at a time. Pause the video when questions pop up on the screen if you want time to see if you can answer correctly. Also read the video description for more info on how to get the most out of these videos. Now let's get into it. So when I do these questions, I always draw a quick sketch or a picture of what we're, what we're dealing with, what we're looking at. So we have a bar that's 26 and 3 quarter inches long uh, and we're going to cut six pieces from it and then each one of these pieces we're going to add on one sixteenth of an inch for the cuts. So uh, the first thing that we need to do is we need to say, okay, if we have 3 and 3 eighths, what I like to do is I like to come down and uh, turn that into a decimal form. So 3 and 3 eighths is 3.375 and again there's six pieces so times six that will account for all of these pieces. Now we still have to add in all the cuts. So each one of those cuts was 1 16th of an inch which works out to 0 0.0625. Now you're going to probably want to remember and have these ones memorized. You're going to want to know 1 16th uh, all the way up to probably uh, one and or seven eighths probably is, would be the last one that you would do maybe even fifteen sixteenths. Um, so you want to just remember what all these decimal equivalents are. I think you'll just kind of learn that over time at, naturally as you as you go. But um, anyways, one sixteenth is point zero six two five, and there's six cuts. So that's where the drawing comes in. Uh, one two three four five. There's six cuts, six pieces. So 3.375 times 6 is 20 and 1 quarter and 1 16th times 6 is uh, 6 sixteenths or 3 eighths or 0.375. Okay, so then we just add those two numbers together and what we end up with is 20.625 inches or um, 20 and if you remember your uh, decimal equivalence, the 0.625 is 5 eighths. So 20 and 5 eighths inch. Uh, so that's how much material that we've cut. And uh, now the last step is that we have 26 and 3 quarter inch bar. The question was how much remains? So we take our 26 and 3 quarter and we subtract 20 uh, and 5 eighths and what we get is um, 6 and 1 eighth because 3 quarter is 6 eighths so five, 6 eighths minus 5 eighths is 1 eighth and uh, 26 minus 20 is 6 so 6 and 1 eighth inches so we're going to change 7.8 three degrees into a more proper way of writing it which is degrees minutes and seconds so how we do this is uh, when we have a, a full circle here so I'll draw from the center of the circle we have uh, any any circle from the middle out we have 90 180 270 degrees so each one of these circles we could go all the way around and we could draw 360 degrees now if we zoom in, if we were to take a, a smaller snapshot of this and zoom in and uh, you know make it a little bit larger, you would see that we have these degrees and then each one of the degrees is divided up into 60 minutes. And then if we took it again and we zoomed in even further and we brought that over to here, you can see that each one of the minutes is divided into 60 seconds. 60 seconds. So what we got to do now is take that 8, 783 and try and convert that into, into, these, uh, into these units. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to say it's uh, 7 degrees. So it's 7 degrees. And then what we're left with when we take away that 7, so we're going to go through here and we're going to count off 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But what we're left with is uh, the 0.83. So if this is the rest of the angle, we have point, you know, this is equivalent to like 0 0.883 degrees. So how many minutes is that? Well, we take our 60 minutes and we multiply it by 0 0.83. 
and what we get is uh, 49 49.8 minutes Oops, sorry. 49.8 minutes so we have 7 degrees 49 minutes and then we have this 0.8 minutes so the 0.8 minutes again coming up to here is really if this if this red to red is one minute we have 0.8 minutes so we have to figure out how many seconds that is because from here to here is 0.8 of a minute so again we just take our 0.8 and times it by 60 and then that gives us 48 so what we're left with is 7 degrees, 49 minutes, and 48 seconds. So 7, uh, and it's written 7, 49, and the one single dash for a minute, and then 48 with two dashes, and that's for a second. So 7, seven degrees, 49 minutes, 48 seconds. So on an 8 inch long shaft with a taper per foot of 0.625 inches, uh, what, what is the total change in diameter? So really what we're looking for is what is the change in diameter from the end of this shaft and then we're traveling along 8 inches and we had an 8 inch piece here that let's just say we cut it off. Um, what is the diameter change between this large diameter and the diameter straight across here? So if this was a foot long shaft with a taper per foot of 0.625, uh, the total change would be 0.625 inches. And that is the, the clear definition of what a taper per foot is. Taper per foot is what would the change of diameter be across one foot. So we have an 8 inch shaft here. So we're looking at if it's 8 inches um, divided by 12 inches, that's the how much of a foot we have. Um, so really what all we're doing is we're going to take our point uh, 625 taper per foot times 8 inches divided by 12 inches and that's going to give us or really just 3 quarters point, 8 inches is 3 quarters of a foot so that's 0 0.625 times 8 divided by 12 equals 0 0.46876 seven five inches. Now a question I get a lot if is um, wh what decimal do I go to? And the answer is usually what the, the question is given in. So the question here gave us three decimals so we want to round to 0.46875 so I would round that up to 0 0.469 inches and that's going to be the diameter change across uh, delta diameter across 8 inches at point four six nine. Hey everyone, before we get to that last answer for this video, I just wanted to ask you to like and subscribe the video and if you could leave a comment in the comment section of, if, of whether or not this kind of content will be useful for you because um, it's quite a time consuming process to, to make these videos and, and do this and um, I, I just kind of want to get a sense of, of uh, if there's interest out there for this type of video. So just let me know. So we're going to convert 4.7% into decimal number. Now um, it's really quite simple when we're doing decimals. It, it sometimes I think it, we just overthink this but all you have to do to turn a percentage to a decimal is to move the decimal over one, two spots. So 4.7 here. So 4.7% equals um, 0 0.047. If I wanted 5%, it would be 0 0.05. If I wanted 50%, okay, uh, I'm moving the decimal over one sorry the decimal is here so I move it over 1 2 so 0 0.5 percent if I wanted uh, 73 percent I move the decimal over 1 2 so it's 0 0.73 percent if uh, that's a funny looking 3 if I do if I want um, 5 5.4 percent it would be 
zero point zero five four okay and anytime you look at it as a decimal you can just kind of go the other way so if I had um, you know what is point three two as a percentage it just move that over one two and we get uh, it's thirty two percent so I'm just making up random numbers here just to kind of go over but that's really just the conversion of decimals to percentage uh, and how you do it